look at success, just follow the leader. Also, I'd say mindset and just knowing that you can't do something big without people. Once you make the commitment, once you learn the technical aspect of how to do it, and you can go build a team behind you that has your back because you have their back with personal, professional, financial goals, this is how you architect, scale, and grow a business. This is Brandon. Welcome back to another episode of Building Billions with Brandon Dawson. I am sitting here with another amazing entrepreneurial story. I'm gonna introduce my friend Daniel, have him tell you who he is, where he's from, and what he does. Daniel? So my name's uh, Daniel Chavez, and I'm from Park City, Utah, and uh, we're the best landscaping company out of Utah. Landscaping, this yeah. is awesome. So how long have we been working together, Daniel? We've been working together for three years. Three years. And tell my listeners how old you are. So I'm 25. 25 years old. And so you started working with us when you were 22. Yeah, that's correct. And when you started working with us, how big was your business? We're a uh, three, three and a half million. Three and a half million. So at 22 years old, you had a three and a half million dollar business already. That's amazing. Yeah. No. I mean, most, most, most entrepreneurs spend their whole lives trying to get to three million. Yeah. And you're 22 million. Yep. Or you're 22 years old and you're doing three and a half million. Yeah. So why did you start working with us? So I, I, was, a, I was at a point in my business where I was, I was running everything and... I felt lost. I felt like I, I couldn't scale it. I couldn't, you know, I didn't know the principles of business. And uh, when I went to your guys' 360, it just opened my eyes and it showed me I, I need people. I need people to grow my business and I need to show, get some structure. And, you know, immediately that first day that I heard you talk at that 360, it just, it just blew my mind and completely changed my life. That was a 10X 360. Yeah. And you went there three years ago. Yeah, I went there three years ago. And you're three and a half million. What was two or three of the biggest takeaways after going through the 10X360? I, I feel like, uh, you know, your personal, professional, financial goals, just aligning from that, you know, having your people aligned with that. And then also, you know, um, I'd say mindset and, you know, just knowing that you can't do something big without people. So the whole thing around people and discipline and accountability. Yeah, correct. So you did that program, 22 years old, fast forward, 25 years old. In the past three years, how big your business grow? What'd you do in 2023 in revenue? In 2023, we did uh, 9 million. So you're three times almost. Yeah, we're three times bigger. So we- and you're 27 years old. 25. 20, I'm sorry, 20, yeah, 25 years old with a business that's almost that almost at 10 million in revenue last year. Yeah, that's correct. How good does that feel? Oh man, it's amazing. I love it. And just being able to, you know, support my loved ones, take care of my mom, my dad, being able to, you know, tell my mom and dad, "Hey, you guys don't have to work anymore." It's it's amazing. What do they think about having a 25-year-old son that has a 9 million dollar business? You know, they're shocked. You know, we came from nothing, so they just can't believe it. They can't believe how fast this happened. And when you think about when you think about the next three to five years, how big is your target to build your business? We're gonna be at 50 million. 50 million yep. is your target. Yep. And it'd be hard for anybody to say now, oh, that's not realistic. You're thinking too big. You're because you went from three million to nine million in three years, 25 years old. I mean, you got the whole world ahead of you. What are some of the biggest things? So you went to the 10X 360, you identified your three to five things that would help you grow your business. And then you decided to hire us to engineer your business. Yep, that's When did correct. you do that after the 360? So I did that two years later and I wish I wouldn't have waited that long. And why I, is that? Just because the value, the value in it, I'm getting things done at a rapid time and I'm not going through failure. And that's what I'd say is the big takeaway from this. So now you have the blueprints, we've we've engineered how to do it, and and now you're just following the plan, which yeah. gives you some confidence because you have a clear picture of what you want to accomplish. Yeah, correct. And what has that done for your team when you can sit down and show your team how committed you are to building a huge business? It makes people want to commit more to me, and it just shows them their roadmap towards their success, and that's... You know, that's just game changing. I've got people on my team that treat it just like if it were their business. That's amazing. You know, 25 to understand the mechanics of a business, a $10 million business, let alone a $50 million business, right? To have the confidence, understand the mechanics. And you're here at my leadership, uh, um, business mastery leadership program. And and you're, you're here with entrepreneurs 
that have massive businesses. So you're around people who are two, sometimes three times your age. Yeah. With businesses that have got, they've grown them to be huge. I yeah. just interviewed Craig Jackson here at Barrett Jackson. Yeah. What's it like to be in an environment where you're surrounded with so much success with people who are learning the same thing you're learning and willing to help you as well? It, it's a, it's amazing. Uh, it just, it just shows you, you know, you, in my head, I believe I'm that fifty million dollar business already, because of you know the belief these people bring towards me, and it just just makes me super excited to keep on growing my business and to build a bigger team. How many team members do you currently have? We currently have 35 team members. It's a lot of responsibility. 25 years old, 35 team members. What do they think about what you're doing at 25 years old? They think it's crazy, and uh, I've had some of my team members um, come out and look for work with me just because you know they've seen all the things we're doing and they want to be part of it. They want to they want to be part of this big ecosystem we're creating. How good does that feel? 25, you're leading 35 individual team members. You got a $9 million business that you've grown 3X in the last couple of years with a target to get to $50 million and a blueprint on how to get there. Yeah. How helpful, how much do you reference the engineering blueprint we built for you to grow to 50 million? Hey, anything you guys tell anybody, it's the truth, man. You guys are gonna lead them towards success and a lot of beautiful things things are going to happen with it. Like for example, this year we were able to, you know, buy my mom and dad a house. I bought wow. them a house. So for me, that's game changing. How good did that feel? Oh, it felt amazing, man. When yeah. you can give back to your parents, I, I can't think of a better feeling. Yeah, no, it's amazing. I love and, it. And for them to look at you at 25 years old, know that you're an accomplished entrepreneur. You're not just building, you didn't just build a business from 3 million to 9 million. You're making money. Yeah. You're responsibly making money. Do you follow our financial algorithms, how to grow and scale a business and set up reserves? Talk, talk a little bit about what you've learned through that process. Yeah, no. So I've, I've learned that we need at least six months of reserves in our business. Um, you know, it's very important to keep an eye on your guys' financials to just, uh, you know, always be looking at your bank account every morning. And that way you'll be, you know, if your business is in line or if it's in trouble, and it's, it's just amazing how you guys set up all of those, um, you know, measurements to keep yeah. an eye on things. So how much cash are you sitting on? I'm sitting on a million dollars right now. Okay, so here you are. Let's talk about this. There's so many business owners, because I always get people that, you know, throw spam out there. Oh, it's one thing to talk about revenue, but, but you know, uh, do they make any money? So here you are. Let's, let's, let's make sure for the listeners to understand. You started working with us three years ago. You had a three million-ish business. You just finished this year at nine million. You're 25 years old. You employ 35 people, and you have cash reserves of a million dollars you've built in your account to make sure that you can run a responsible business, doing the things that we teach you all the time to do. So, talk a little bit about how good you sleep at night, knowing you're a responsible business owner. You're not just chasing reckless revenue and hoping it works out you know it, it feels amazing especially because towards the beginning of my business i used to run that account like a checking account i'd just go and spend all that money and you know i'd go and buy a new truck because i wanted it not because i needed it so now knowing where these expenses have to go it's just amazing it's it's game changer that's so awesome well look i'm very proud of you Obviously, uh, we're gonna be following this story. You're working with us with our pool and spa and landscaping area of the business. The goal is to go out and get 250 forward-thinking people just like you, you've met. I mean, we had an event where 400 people came to it. To be in an environment where you know that you can be around 250 peers, all doing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars in revenue. What does it feel like to be part of a group where you get to prove that you've earned your way into that circle? It, it, you know, it, it's amazing. It, it, it's awesome to, you know, have good friendships too. be able to call these people and get some advice when it comes to a certain type of work that you haven't ever done. And just uh, knowing that they're winning and the way you talk to them and how they express themselves, you'll know how that they're winning because they won't ever come back to you with a negative answer. They'll They'll just talk about winning and you know showing you the way on how to get there. And you and I have both seen in the three years some pretty reckless people come through and come in, go into business, go out of business. Oh yeah. How, what has that done for you to also see the other side of when you meet somebody and they're all like, I'm gonna be bigger than everybody, I'm gonna be better, and then boom, they're out of business. What has that done for you being very cautious 
about technically building your business exactly how we teach? Well, I'd say opportunity. It just gives me opportunity to go and take their market share and, you know, grow my business more. And, you know, uh, I've, I've heard negative things like that, but you can't be thinking that way. You've got to be thinking positive and you've got to be a team player. 25, just to summarize, 25, a $9 million business, 35 employees, responsible with a million dollars of cash in the bank to set up your reserves, knowing you're gonna drive this business to 50 million. We're gonna track your progress. And this is what I love about building billions with Brandon is once you start, once you make the commitment, once you learn the technical aspect of how to do it, and, and, and you can go build a team behind you, that has your back because you have their back with personal, professional, financial goals. This is how you architect, scale, and grow a business. And this is exactly what you're doing it. You're hearing it directly from them. This is what you do to build a successful, sustainable business, creating value for other people. Listen to this episode more than once. Understand exactly what he's done and do what success when you look at success, just follow the leader. That's all we talk about and teach, right? Yeah, exactly. Just, you know, copy and paste. That's it. Awesome. Thank you for being hey. on this episode of Building Billions with thank Brandon. You, Brandon. And thank you. If you like this episode, leave a like, share it, uh, create some comments, whatever you'd like to do. But it's what inspires me to continue to interview these young entrepreneurs or all entrepreneurs that we get the privilege to work with to show you and leave success clues on how to build a business. Do it right and have a great time doing it by leading a dynamic team. Thank you for watching another episode or listening to another episode of Building Billions with Brandon. It was awesome, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. That was awesome.